Okay, hi everyone. So today we will do uh, a simple range test. Okay, with uh, TTGO devices. Okay, here. So where you can uh, buy it from myduino.com. Right. So we have here, okay, uh, a casing that we have made. Okay, we made it from a uh, shoe box. Okay. So what we need to do is that we need to slot in these devices here. And then uh, slot in the antenna or insert it the antenna. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay, to power on the device, okay, we use, uh, uh, we use power bank. Mm -hmm. So now uh, the device has been powered. So if you look here, uh, okay, we we have TTGO transmitting. Okay, meaning that this is the sender. Okay, so I think you can see it here. Now the device the device uh, sending data. Okay. So now this is uh, our our transmitter. Okay, for the receiving side. Okay, so we have uh, same thing here. Okay, so let's power it and then test it whether okay our LoRa devices can communicate with each other. Okay, so we have power on the device. So now you can see it's receiving. Okay, so this transmitting and then this will be receiving. Okay, so now uh, our uh, transmitter and receiver working. So, so now uh, we be, we need to use uh, a plastic bag. Okay, and then we will put the transmitter inside this plastic bag, and then we will hang it uh, on the bridge. Okay. Yeah. And then you look at this, it's still working. Okay, so we just put it inside. Okay, make sure it, it is turned up. You, you make sure that, okay, the, the, the device is turned. Mm -hmm. Then put inside here. And then, okay, so we adjust it a bit like this. Okay. Now it's ready. Okay, this is a Parit Raja. Okay, so let's see where we will do the race test. Okay, which is uh, at Jalan Parit Karjo. Mm, here. Okay, and then we will put our Titigo LoRa transmitter. Okay, at this bridge. And then after that, we will move to the first bridge. Okay. Look at that. 
here okay if we receive the lora signal okay from our transmitter okay and then we will move to the second bridge okay which is over here okay and then after that we move to the third bridge and then we will continue to the fourth bridge and fifth bridge okay and then lastly to the sixth bridge okay this is the last one okay because okay we will not get any uh, line of sight okay so if you look here so this is our line of sight mm -hmm. okay so this is the transmitter over here and then this will be uh, our last uh, uh, bridge okay which is the sixth bridge okay so so we are ready to go okay to the uh, green stretch area and let's go Okay, this is the bridge where we will put our transmitter. Okay. So, we will put it over, over here. You also, we will hang it here. So, if you look, yeah, straight. So, it's very straight. Okay. So, we have nearby, okay, along this river. So we have uh, root, okay, and then some houses on the right. So this this is where we will hang our transmitter. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, first we need to make sure that our transmitter is working. Okay, so if you look here, it is working. So now we just need to hang it up. Okay, All right. Okay, now our transmitter is hang already okay, on the bridge. So let's go to the next bridge over there. Okay, now we are at the first bridge. Okay, so let's test okay, whether we can receive the LoRa signal from the transmitter. Okay, okay, now we, we can uh, receive okay, LoRa signal 
So the RSSI value is negative 106 Okay about that Okay And then we receive uh, the packet correctly So we will wait Okay So and then uh, capture about uh, 10 reading So hopefully we can uh, get some signal from our transmitter So our transmitter is Okay, over there. Okay, so that is our transmitter. Okay. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay, that is uh, our transmitter. Okay, over there. Okay. And maybe you can see the first bridge. Okay, so let's see if we can get some signal, okay, from the second bridge. Okay, now we can see, we can still have the signal, okay, the RSSI value is about negative uh, 120 dBm. Okay, so we will take 10 reading, okay, before we move on to the third uh, bridge. Okay, in terms of data, is quite good. I think we receive uh, the correct uh, data transmitted. Okay, we are any error. And uh, okay, after about 10 reading, so the RSS value is negative 120 as, 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 as average. Okay, so let's move on to the third bridge. Okay, let's go. This is the third bridge. Okay, so same thing. Okay, so our transmitter is uh, over there. Our transmitter is over there. Okay, so let's do if we can still receive any signal. Okay, from our transmitter. Okay, so now we have tested. Okay, so we can see we can still receive the signal. Okay. Okay, the RSS value is negative 119. And then let's take uh, about uh, 10 reading okay, before we move on to the uh, next, next bridge. Okay. Okay, so now it's about, uh, okay, after 10 uh, reading, okay, so the SSI value is about negative 119, and then we still can receive uh, a good uh, transmission, okay, with uh, no data corrupted. Okay, so, so we need to move on to the next bridge. Yes, okay, whether we can still receive the signal or not. Okay, we can still receive the signal. Okay, the RSI value is negative 105. Negative 112. Okay, so we, we will take uh, about 10 reading. Okay, so now uh, is after 10 reading, so the reading, uh, the, the RSI value, so we can get average is about minus 100 and 118. Okay, so about that. Okay, so, so let's move on to the next bridge. Okay. Mm.
Okay, so we are now at the fifth bridge. Okay, so let's uh, see whether we can ha receive a signal from our transmitter. So we will take uh, same thing, 10 reading. Okay, so now uh, about 10 reading. Okay, the average. Okay, we can say the RSSI value is minus 116. Okay, in terms of the packet delivery, is good. We are, we are corruption. Okay, alright. This will be the last bridge. Okay, because we barely uh, get line of sight. Okay, so we need to see it uh, on the side of the bridge. Okay, instead of in the middle. Okay, so let's see whether we can still receive any signal from our transmitter. Okay, we can still receive uh, the signal okay, from the our transmitter. Okay, the RSI value right now is 124. Okay, so let's take 10 reading. Okay, alright, now we finish, uh, I think, uh, taking uh, more than 10 reading. Okay, in terms of the RSI value, okay, the average is 124 dBm. Okay, in terms of uh, the quality of signal is good.